Okay, can we just talk about how I tried that heatless curl method last night? And they've sort of fallen a little as the day's gone because it is afternoon by now. But like, I have never had this sexy of curls without heat. Like what? Um, but hi, hello, welcome to today's vlog. It is a beautiful Tuesday afternoon currently. I got home from work not too long ago. I actually stopped to pick up some tequila first. My boyfriend is going to be here soon. We're gonna hang out for a little bit before I go about the rest of my evening, but I thought I would uh, say hi, hello, and welcome to the vlog. And I think he's here, so let's go get him and do a shot together. Okay, so I spent some time with the boyfriend. Um, I ended up making dinner. I had, I finished off some quesadillas from Costco. I don't know if it's like new to Costco or what. I've never seen the quesadillas before, but they are so good. So I finished off the rest of those for dinner. I made my way up to my bedroom, changed obviously into some fun Christmas PJs, did a little bit of cleaning up, and now I am going to edit. I've got some editing to do. I'm going to watch some Gossip Girl, and then I might do a little DIY. Okay, don't mind the bit of snow that is um, just like around your edges there. I am home from work. It was a, um, I was gonna say long day, but like, hello sir. My days have been going by very quickly during the holiday season, which has been very nice. I just spend like the majority of the day um, packaging up orders and stuff. And so what you saw is like pretty much what I spend the majority of the day doing um i will put in i'll either just listen to the music that we have playing in the store i'll put in an earbud and either listen to music a podcast a youtube video like something as i'm working to help the days go and they've been going by very fast so it is now i'm now done with the day i'm giving the kitties some love but i also just changed and got ready to go to pilates i have a class at five o'clock so I am going to go ahead there. Yeah, I have to admit because like this is where I'm going to admit the secret. But when I go to Pilates, um, at some point I want to say it was like last week or whatever. It was probably in either my like last vlog or the one before. I went to Pilates and I filmed a little clip at Pilates. And I remember like thinking to myself, I don't want to feel weird. Like I don't want somebody to be like why are you filming what are you filming blah 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 so in my head i created a story that if somebody were to ask i'm filming it 
so that my mom can get an idea of what it looks like inside the Pilates studio. Like that is what I'm thinking about because I know that it is moderately embarrassing to, because nobody brings their phones over to their Pilates reformers. Like you leave your phone with your stuff in the like front area. Um, and so I was like, well, you know what? If someone asks, I'm filming for my mom. I want to show my mom what the Pilates studio looks like. So I'm going to try to film a clip when I get there. And if I do, just know that I went into it, the mentality of being able to say that if anybody asks why I'm filming, it's for it's for my mom. Either way, it's time to go to Pilates. Silly apologies, but you cannot come with me. I'm sorry, sir. Ow, don't bite me. Hey. He's a little, he, he's in the mood to play right now. <laughs> Okay, so it was like a two second quick cute little clip, but I did it. I am back home now. I'm about to go shower um, and my boyfriend's gonna be coming over soon because we have date night on Wednesday nights. But first I need to go take a shower and get myself together and ready. So I'm off work for today. I was going to film a little bit at work, but I realized it would have looked pretty much identical to yesterday's footage because I just continued to pack more and more boxes. So here we are. I ran an errand after work and picked up some final Christmas presents for my family. I needed like a little, a couple little like extra gifts. So I picked up these fun socks, some cones, if you know what these are for, you know. And these are actually for myself. I thought these were super cute and fun. If you partake, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. Um, but I thought these were super cute, so I got these for myself. And then I got home and one of my boyfriend's main gifts arrived. And I'm very excited because it's also a gift that I'm going to get to enjoy. I got him a massage gun and I don't know how this ended up happening. I almost don't know if I... Part of me almost doesn't really necessarily believe the advertisement, but on Amazon, it said that this was normally $250 and it was 65 the other day. So I paid like 70 total with, I think, did I get the, I got the protection plan um, and then tax. So it was like 70 something total for what is apparently supposed to be a $250. So I don't know if this one's actually supposed to be a $250 massage gun, but either way, um, it doesn't show it on the box, but it has a ton of different attachments. Um, I don't know why it doesn't say, but there was like 10 to 15 different little attachments. So this is something that like I got for my boyfriend because I know that he's going to love this, but like I'm definitely gonna be able to borrow from time to time and I won't mind that part. So this was sort of a gift for both of us in a way, but it's mainly his. I also thankfully know that there is no way he will watch this video in time before Christmas, so that helps. So with that being said, this evening, I don't know 100% what I want to do. It is 4 o'clock now. I know that at some point throughout the evening, um, I want to do some wrapping. I'm trying to like wrap like in chunks so that I'm not just like overwhelmed with wrapping like the day of. Like if I wrap a few gifts every day, it kind of helps. Um, and so I'm going to do that. I want to do my nails. I've got some fun holiday press on nails. I want them to look cute for Christmas. So I want to put some holiday nails on and I think I want to make soup for dinner. That sounds really good. I just don't know what kind of soup and if I have enough ingredients to make a good soup, I could always run to the grocery store. I don't know. And on top of all of that, my boyfriend may come over uh, cause he wasn't feeling well. And I was like, come over, let me take care of you. I will make you soup. We can just hang out um, or you could just hang out while I do the stuff that I need to do. So. I might have an interesting evening, we'll see. Okay, not sure if anyone actually cares, but I just looked up the gun because I was curious and I'm not sure of like the actual pricing of it um, because now it's like $80 on Amazon. It still shows that it's like normally 250, but I looked up a review of it and it shows that like 80 is supposed to be the price. So I'm not really sure price wise. However, the review said that it has one of the most, like the highest number of different interchangeable heads, like I mentioned. It's one of the quietest and the battery lasts for like 15 hours. So I'm not here trying to sell this to you. 
But I'm just saying that I am proud of the choice that I made. That's really all I'm getting at. Okay, so seasoning wise for this, it called for thyme and bay leaves. And unfortunately, I don't have bay leaves. And I was gonna, I don't know why I wasn't gonna buy bay leaves at the store, but I was gonna buy the thyme at the store and they were completely out of thyme. No pun intended. So I've decided this, it needs more flavoring, it needs more seasoning, like it needs something more than just garlic, salt, and pepper. I will not stand for just garlic, salt, and pepper. So there is this seasoning spice blend that my boyfriend and I use for a bunch of different things. It's called fry seasoning. You're supposed to technically use it for like french fries, but we have put it on a multitude of things and it is absolutely delicious. So I need to make more because I'm currently out of it. So I'm gonna make a new batch, film it. I will include the ingredients either somewhere on the screen, in the description, wherever, let you know what's in it. Um, and I'm gonna add that to the soup because I can't imagine it wouldn't be absolutely delicious. Okay, first off, I would like to note that while my hair is not still fully like curly from those overnight curls, like come on, like that is like three days ago now. I I would also I would like to know why is it that Trader Joe's is almost like Target in its like level of danger when it comes to shopping and why I thought it would be a good idea to go to both today after work because I, I did that. Um, I went to Target with the intention of getting red ribbon, white ribbon, and red tissue paper to finish gift wrapping for the year because uh, yeah, I did not get to as much last night as I had hoped. I did not do my nails. I feel like a little bit of a hot mess, but it's fine because I'm on top of my like food and groceries. I'm done shopping Christmas wise for everybody, which feels good. I purposely just went shopping because I don't want to have to go shopping again before Christmas. This vlog's gonna go up before Christmas, but it may go up the day or two, day or two before Christmas. This right now is the week before Christmas. Um, I don't want to have to go shopping in the insanity leading up to Christmas when like everybody's just like insane. So for that reason, um, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, I'm gonna get some stuff to hopefully hold me over, and I just, I, I don't know how I ended up with as much as I did. So, we're gonna do a haul, I'm gonna start with Target, I'm gonna move on to Trader Joe's, and I'm pretty sure there's some things I'm gonna have to taste test from Trader Joe's, because I got some, like, fun stuff. Okay, so first from Target, I did manage to get what I was looking for, but they didn't have, like, an entire spool of white, unfortunately, which made me sad. I definitely wanted a full thing of red. I also like how they're slightly different reds. Like this is more of like a shiny berry red and this is more like a bright cherry red. So at least they're a little different. And then I like the fun ones in here and I at least have some white ribbon. Oh crap, I meant to get Hanukkah wrapping paper. Oops. 
And then even better than just red tissue paper is this pack that has the candy canes too. I thought these were both, this is super, I wish I found a pack of just all of this because I would have gotten just this, but either way this works. It'll help me do my coworkers gifts all cute. Um, I found this a beautiful decanter in the like one spot section when you first walk in that like $1, $3, $5 section. Um, and I think I'm just gonna take the plastic off and use this as like a decor piece because it's, it's pretty. I like the way it looks. Then the final item is for the New Year's party that I mentioned earlier in this video. And I mentioned that the theme is black and white come as you are. I'm thinking that it's going to be black and white with pops of gold and silver throughout because I've got a lot of stuff that has that. And I feel like having that like pop of gold and silver will, will look really cool. Also, what gave me the idea is I found these champagne glasses that have um, gold and silver little flex and then say cheers in 2023 on them. I only got them for my boyfriend and I, since we're hosting, I thought it'd be fun just to have like our own little hostess champagne glasses. Everyone else look at plastic ones that we can just throw away. If I were rich, I would buy one for everybody. But considering we're inviting like 30 to 40 people and they were $3 each, that's not happening. Um, but the last thing from Target is this chandelier tassel chandelier so it's like that shiny plastic stuff but it's supposed to make a chandelier i don't know i thought it sounded super fun so we'll see if it ends up getting used if not like i said my boyfriend and i like to throw parties so we'll find a use for it that is all from oh no that's not all from target the last thing from target is this bra how cool and fun is this um I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. I'm definitely not gonna wear it for New Year's because I also bought my New Year's outfit today on Amazon. Um, but I do still love this. Actually, there's a solid chance I could wear this with the skirt if I really wanted to. Or I have these like really big billowy pants. I don't know, I think I'm gonna try on the outfit that I purchased from Amazon and then I'm gonna try on this and see what I like better. But if not, this would just be fun to like wear out and about. Um, somewhere out to the bars i don't know it's cute okay so moving on to trader joe's i got some hard-boiled eggs to eat for breakfast snack lunch whatever salsa some mozzarella cheese salmon cacio e pepe gnocchi this one is fire i'm pretty sure i've tried almost all of their gnocchis now this is one of my favorites and the one that's like uh not the stuffed one but the one that's in like straight up just like pasta sauce is so good mini cucumbers um this cuban style citrus garlic bowl that just looked and sounded really fun is something for like work or when i don't feel like cooking and then my boyfriend and i watch a lot of Rhett and link and in one of their more recent videos they mentioned that trader joe's indian food's really good no idea specifically what they were talking about but i came across some different like frozen meals so i grabbed a couple i grabbed the chicken tikka masala and the butter chicken with basmati rice they both have this little stamp that says like authentic indian recipe on it um there was other stuff too i think there was at least one or two more but i grabbed these to start and try some baby carrots bananas okay yeah i'm definitely gonna have to try this it's a white truffle popcorn i love anything truffle flavored oh my god that smells so good That is dangerous. That tastes like an expensive popcorn. If you like truffle and you like popcorn, they're really good. Okay, I don't wanna try them right this second because I don't wanna open everything, but maybe I'll either try them like later for dessert or maybe tomorrow. I think that tomorrow's gonna be like the last day I put in this vlog. Um, but they're almond butter almonds, roasted salted almonds covered in a sweetened almond butter coating. They also look really fun too. And finally, some blueberries and some eggs. Make up my haul. All right, I'm gonna put all of this away and then I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do next, but I will see you there when I do it. Okay, it doesn't look like I've gone anywhere, but I just had leftover soup from last night for dinner. It was wonderful, it was delicious. And I had a couple Amazon packages delivered and I thought I would open them because I'm excited about them. And they each contain 
a Christmas present for somebody, but one of them also contains something for myself and I'm so excited. Okay, so this first thing is this super epic blanket that I think I kind of want to open it and make sure it's like as plush as I'm hoping. Yeah, I think I'm just going to package it like this. Um, I'll insert and throw in a picture, but this is a Harry Potter blanket that is one of the most beautiful blankets I've ever seen. I was actually advertised a t-shirt first that had this on it, and then when I saw the blanket, I was like, oh no, 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 my best friend needs this blanket. So I purchased her this blanket for Christmas. And then I was watching um, Taylor King's YouTube videos. I was watching one of her vlogs and this was one from like months ago now. I'm a little behind when it comes to the YouTube that I'm like watching. Um, but she used this coloring book in her video. And so I bought one for myself and one for my boyfriend for Christmas because I just could not resist. This sounded like so much fun like all of these epic characters that we know and love put in some sort of like stoner scenario. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited. This is holy, oh my God. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna love this, my boyfriend's gonna love this. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited because receiving these things means that I am like pretty much almost done Christmas shopping and I love that for myself. So it is now 8 p.m. I think for the rest of the night I might do a little bit of wrapping. I could, I probably should wrap a few more presents and kind of like keep that momentum going um, and then just edit for the rest of the evening. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, first off, loving what the color of this top is doing to my eyes right now. Not mad at it. Um, but second, just found out that my boyfriend is also going to come over for a little bit. So I might have him help me wrap, but we also might just hang out and watch the season finale of Lego Masters. Um, it is a show we are very into Lego Masters. And the best part is that like mostly because of it, I bought him this super cool Lego kit. I don't know, I just thought it was super cool and super fun. It is the Infinity Gauntlet. If you are not familiar with Marvel, this comes from the Marvel films. Um, and it's cool because it is an adult Lego building set. Like this is made for adults. It literally has 18 plus on it, which I find super interesting. Um, and it is meant to be like on display, a collector's piece. So like I made a comment about it and he was like trying to guess what it was and he was like is it art and i was like i personally think it's art there are some people who would argue that it's not but i would argue that this is a piece of art um and he was like is it a collectible and i was like hell yeah i would consider it a collectible so he had guessed funko pop um before he guessed art hence the collectible and I was like no it is not a Funko Pop um but I do personally think because I actually looked up whether or not there were Funko Pop Lego sets there should be the fact that there is not there should be but anyways I'm gonna go start wrapping some presents I'm also not mad at the way that this lighting is making my eyes look right now I'm sorry for saying it twice but like it's like I'm look very green and I'll take it did you know also your eye color can change when I first got my driver's license when I was 16 like the majority of my life I had brown eyes and then eventually I started to notice that my eyes I was like my eyes are more and more green like as time goes on and so the next time I got I updated my driver's license at some point and the lady was like do you need to change anything and I was like is it weird if I change my eye color? Like, I think my eyes are hazel now. And she's like, no, that's normal. It happens all the time. I had no idea your eyes could change color as you get older. So fun fact, they can. I used to have very brown eyes. And now, the older I get, the more and more green that shows up in my eyes. And I personally love it. Um, but yeah, okay. I need to get some wrapping done before he gets here. He does. He only lives 20 minutes away. And we got off the phone almost 10 minutes ago. So... <laughs>
Okay, now the lighting is weird, but believe it or not, this actually is like better lighting than if I turned on my overhead lighting right now. I'm using my um, sun therapy lamp thing, whatever for my lighting. Um, but anyways, yeah, it is already evening. I definitely meant to vlog like all day throughout the day, and then I ended up, well, you saw bits and pieces of my day. I cleaned up the kitchen. I actually went to Pilates this morning to start the day. You saw what I had for breakfast. I did, for the most part today, I cleaned up the kitchen. I cleaned up my living area. I wrapped my boyfriend's, more of his presents for Hanukkah and Christmas. Um, and yeah, so my makeup is now done. I still need to do mascara if I look weird, that is why. And I'm really hoping these are dry. They don't feel totally dry. So hold on, I'm gonna take a blow dryer to them. Um, one of, no, two of, my boyfriend's friends are in town for the weekend so we are going to go out tonight um well okay we're gonna have dinner here first with like one of his friends we're gonna take those friends to the airport and then we're gonna actually go out out with some other friends i'm not sure how much i'm actually gonna get to film slash remember to film i am meeting one of these friends for the first time so like i don't want to be like awkward or weird or just like intrusive about it um so we shall see but my goal before they get here is to do my flipping nails that i have said i'm pretty sure every day of this vlog that i was going to do but okay let me finish getting ready my makeup is mostly done like i said just mascara I'm gonna undo these curls and then go from there